What's going on everyone? I have a brand new build for you today, and this is going to be Spider Thread, a mid-range quad leg focusing on needles, and not the typical stun needles that we've seen so much of, but rather the needle guns and the needle missiles. And of course, I love the new photo mode. I don't see people doing nearly enough with it, so I have to showcase just some cool shots of Spider Thread here. And like normal, I try to do interesting builds around specific concepts or things like that. And I try to stay away from anything that's too meta. So right now you won't see the, you know, double Zimmermans, double stun needles, anything like that. Because I just don't find it all that interesting. Sure, they work well and I will try not to fault anybody for using them. But it's just not that exciting for me as I think every other opponent I play against is using double Zimmermans. And I try to do something a little bit different. Though it is actually kind of a shame because I do love double shotguns um, or even quad shotguns. But honestly, the other ones are just so outclassed by the Zimmermans right now. It's almost pointless to use them because you're just worse than the other opponent using double Zimmermans. So try to mix things up and do something a little bit different. And I will have my fingers crossed that the Zimmermans get patched in the next regulation update. Though I don't think we have a date on that just yet. But this is a build video and not a multiplayer video. So we'll go ahead and jump into the build here, starting off with our main weapons, the Viento needle guns. And I think these, along with the needle missiles, are a type of weapon that people are sleeping on in general. Um, at least in the Armored Core Discord, the needle missiles are known to be pretty good, but I really rarely see them in PvP. So I think it's something just the general population is sleeping on. Um, but starting off with the needle missiles here, so it's kind of this rapid firing, almost handgun type feel. Um, they have a fairly small clip and you usually won't stun somebody in that first clip, but they fire very fast. They're very accurate at close range and they have this kind of long lasting accumulative impact. Um, so usually really early on into your second clip or if you can catch them with a kick, something like that, you'll get your stun off. And these are your kind of primary weapon. These are used to really get that stun. Moving on from that, we have the punishing weapon, which would be your needle missile launchers. Um, and so these guys have really high attack power, really high impact, great accumulative impact. They're just all around very strong. They do have um, a little bit of recoil, hence the quad legs, so I can jump into the air and float while I fire them. Um, but they use it as something you have to think about before making them, uh, before making an AC that uses them, is they do have that recoil like a cannon or something like that would have. But as long as you time it right, or if you're floating and using the quad legs, they are great. Um, so it fires out this spike projectile. Um, they call it a missile. It's not quite a missile. There's a little bit of curve to it if you fire it at range, for sure. Um, and I will say they don't seem to have the best accuracy far out. Um, definitely I still use them occasionally to peck at people from mid to long distance, but really I mostly use them to punish when I do get that stagger because you will drop somebody to half health um, if you land both of them. So sometimes between the needle guns just stagger, missiles, stagger, missiles, and that'll be all you need is two staggers and two sets of those missiles to finish somebody off. Moving into the frame, um, this one I wanted to be this kind of mid to close range brawler frame. So I want something with high AP, high stability, pretty high defense. The needle guns are so close range that I need to be able to really stay in the fray against things. So starting off, we have the Veril. So high AP, high defense on all three stats, great stability, um, pretty good scan distance. Not the best duration, but, but definitely decent. Um, so the Veril is actually just a fantastic head in general, so it's one of the ones that I go to most often. Another thing I think people are sleeping on in multiplayer is scanning, especially with really crowded maps like Xylem, Wall Sector, things like that. Scan distance is, well, both scan distance and duration are super important, and I think people just aren't scanning as much as they should be. Um, especially for ones that use missiles, you can stay locked on behind walls. So there's, there's a lot there, I think, that people are just kind of sleeping on in general in this build. Moving on to the core, we have the Mind Alpha. Same thing, it's that high AP, high triple defense stats. It doesn't have the best stability, 
but it does have really good energy and booster supply. Um, and the stability isn't isn't terrible with some of the lightweights, you know, like the Alba. Um, so I really wanted to stay in that mid-range. I really want it to be still relatively fast. You could certainly go heavier with it, but you need to be able to get in with those needle guns. So I wanted something high defense, but that wasn't too heavy. So we have this kind of balanced middle range build. Moving on to the arms, we have the Ephemera. Um, so same thing, high AP. It's got really good energy and explosive defense. The kinetic defense is definitely lacking a little bit, um, but it does have good firearm specialization. And that's one, you, you definitely want some. You definitely want maybe like mid-bar firearm specialization. You could go more if you wanted. You could switch to something like the Howls. Wouldn't be a bad option. I do find that the needle guns, if you're within that 100 distance, fire um, perfectly accurately so no issues there really but when I did drop to an arm with less firearm specialization it did start to suffer a little bit so the ephemera really seems to be that nice balance and besides those big white dots sort of look like spider eggs so it's very very on theme moving on to our tetrapod legs I chose the lighter ones again you could go heavier if you want you'd get a little bit more bulk out of it these are a little bit faster so I chose lighter just to get in and get out, and they still have really high stability. Um, and you can see like it doesn't change that much, even if you go heavier. You definitely get more AP, more kinetic defense, which could make up for that core a little bit. Um, but you do slow down overall. Not, not incredibly slower, so you could really go either way, but I like the 424s. Moving on to the boosters, we have the Flugel. Um, and again, it's all about that like balance, right? So these things are pretty much good at everything, great at nothing, um, but they have, you know, they have enough thrust that we can boost around just fine. They have fairly low drain, fairly good quick boost. The flugels just all around a nice balanced piece. Moving on from that, we have the Talbot FCS. Um, so we wanted something with good close range for sure. Um, and then decent missile lock correction. And so you don't need something amazing since I primarily use my needle missiles as a kind of punishing closer range option, at least for this build. But you want something with some missile lock correction. And of course, close range assist is very important for those needle guns. And you don't have to go something like you could go something like the Abbott to have really, really close range assist. Your needle missiles will still hit if they're staggered, most likely, um, but you will lose the ability to peck at people with your needle missiles from far away. I really feel like Talbot is the best option here. Moving on to the generator, the trusty 20C. So again, we have something with pretty high capacity, not bad in the energy recharge and supply. Um, it feels pretty good to use as far as running out of energy. It drains quick enough. This one does tend to stay fairly low to the ground too, so you can just pop your boosters off, land on the ground. It'll be recharged, no problem. Firearm specialization, we don't, or uh, energy firearm specialization, we don't care about. So for this one, I really wanted something with just decent capacity so that I could hover for a while, um, enough to get off a couple of clips of my needle guns and move into my needle missiles if I needed to. So. That's the 20C. Expansion slots, we have Assault Armor. We're gonna be nice and close. And again, we want something along with our needle guns. You have your kicks and your Assault Armor that you can stagger somebody with and then punish with the needles. Um, and it's not even all that risky to go in for if you've already gotten them down to like half health. If you can get that Assault Armor off and guarantee that stagger, you pretty much win. So Assault Armor um, seems like the better choice. You could go Pulse Armor, but overall, I think Assault Armor is really where it's at. So we're going to go ahead and jump into some multiplayer matches. So I'll do two to three single matches. Um, I probably won't do any 3v3s. This AC really does suffer in 3v3s. The needle guns just don't have the clip size to keep up with multiple opponents. The needle missiles are all right at pecking at people, but that's really your only good option in 3v3s. Um, and you're not quite heavy enough to really stand in the fray against multiple opponents. So it's, it's just doesn't perform well in 3v3s in my testing so i'm just not going to do it that's not really what it's meant for 1v1s with this guy so this one for a quad leg fights surprisingly low usually your needle guns um, have fairly short range but they are really accurate 
And even though you won't get a stun off one clip, you're pretty much guaranteed off two clips as long as you're hitting. And once you get that stun, you have your needle missiles. And even the missiles, if you time them right, can have pretty good accuracy. Ooh, flamethrowers. Reverse joint, though. Should be fairly easy to stun, in theory. So I'm gonna watch out for those flamethrowers. Siege missiles, too. Oh. And we have stun. Ah, a couple of them clipped the wall. Stun. Stun. And win. You can't play too aggressively because the needle missiles will just punish somebody coming in on you. Still, he got me down to like seven. Those flamethrowers are pretty nasty. And there's his dead corpse. Oh. You're just gonna chill on top of the building. You can play at that. We're gonna move in and stun. Kick and stun. Needle missiles back up and down. This build just punishes anybody who wants to play super close range, especially if they're a reverse joint or a lightweight, something with pretty low stability. Struggles a little bit more against heavies. Um, things that the needle guns just don't do that much damage to. But the needle missiles really punish heavies, so there's there's a balance. You just have to play it differently. Let's see. Oh, a chainsaw. Gatling gun, Zimmerman. And missiles, it looks like. Speaking of heavies. You go the other way. There he is. That was not graceful. We can get some missiles on him. There's the stagger and the missiles. Stagger, missiles, got him. I am fast enough, thankfully, to keep away from most heavies. And with only one Zimmerman, I've got enough stability on there to not just be easily stunned by it. Damage that stagger missiles. We gain a little energy here. Not a thing. And stagger missiles. Ah, oh, missed the kick. That's fine. So easy enough. 
So you've been against heavies, if you can keep away from them and just outmaneuver them, um, the needle guns work great. If they're super heavy and don't stagger that easily, the needle missiles work great. And so you just play farther back and try to peck at them with the needle missiles. Let's see what we're up against now. He does like RJs. Are there RJ? Yep. Ah, oh, same thing. Got those double Zimmermans. The meta at work. And honestly, this map is super good for reverse joints. I'm gonna go wide on this one. Keep behind me. Oh. There we go. Stun. And missiles. We're gonna get out. I don't like the Zimmermans. Can I get this done? Got him. Ooh, that was close. Really likes to duck behind and use those siege missiles. And I meant plasma missiles there, not siege missiles. I promise I've played this game before. Okay. Round two, can we get it? Let's see, he likes to go. Oh. Okay. Ooh, gotta watch that though. Ah, oh, missed that opportunity. It's gonna get me. Ah, oh, the Zimmermans. Can't believe I missed my stun needles, or my uh, needle missiles on that assault armor. Round three. Phase three. There he is. Stun. Needles. Stun. Needles. Assault armor. Boom. Done. And it has enough stability and durability to really last those close range encounters too, which is nice. Awesome. Well, that is going to do me for my matches. Thanks, Hedge. You're a great opponent. And I will see you guys next time.